Hi, I'm Merrill Kazanjian. Today I'm going to share with you my process for making an illustration. Uh, I used markers, colored pencils, and a blending stick. So here we go. Part one, I start out by just staring at what I'm drawing. Um, I start to notice what lies underneath as well as what's on the surface. Um, I notice that there's quite a bit of the color orange underneath uh, and yellow uh, and green in addition to the obvious red that's on the surface. Um, but as I said, step one, or part one, uh, I make sure that I fill in what's underneath, and I'm using the markers to do that. Uh, part one takes significantly less time than part two. I'm putting the green in on the top, and I'm going to start looking at that shadow on the side, and I'm going to fill it in with a darker red, I look at the markers that I have and I try to match uh, the actual color uh, that the apple is. Um, it's tough to do with markers because you really can't mix them. Um, but you'll see what I do uh, in the second step uh, to compensate for, the, uh, for what the markers lack. Uh, so I just uh, tied everything together uh, with that red and now I'm finding a darker red and I am putting another layer on the shadows. And that's step one. Um, step two, this is where the magic happens. Um, I start to use the colored pencils. I'm using a gray uh, right now because I'm seeing that really strong highlight towards the top. And I put in um, you know, a pretty thin uh, dusting of gray. I'm putting yellow on top of the gray. I'm not pressing particularly hard. Um, Dusting is kind of the wrong word. That would be something with charcoal. Um, colored pencils are wax-based. Um, but I'm, I'm not push, uh, pushing too hard. I'm pushing kind of light and just getting a little bit of color down. And I'm probably going to add a few layers of color uh, with the colored pencils. I'm adding the highlight in. Um, I'm trying to see everything as shapes, and I see that bright white shape. Uh, on the left hand side on the apple on the left and I'm putting it on the apple on the right and you'll notice that I'm going to use actually several different reds uh, you know for this drawing that I'm doing I'm tying everything together I'm working on the shadow now. It's a really dark red that I'm using. It's like putting a puzzle together. I'm putting the different pieces together and making sure that um, you know there's something that's common that's tying them together. Um, and I'm looking to the picture on the left for reference. I just filled in the shadow that's left by the stem. And in a second, you're going to see me pick up uh, the blending stick. And then it's going to really start to pop. That is the blending stick. And if you notice, I'm going in the opposite direction of the cross hatching that I'm doing. Uh, cross hatching is putting down line after line after line that gives you shading. I'm going in the opposite direction. Um, so I'm kind of like wiping them out. But again, this blending stick is just wax. So, you know, it's, it's the same stuff that the colored pencil is made of. And it's just adding, you know, the binder of the colored pencil uh, with the, the pigment uh, that was left with the colored pencil. And it kind of ties everything together and really starts to pop. Now, hopefully you agree with me. Once you put... Um, you know, that uh, layer down, uh, or rather, once you finish a layer uh, with the blender, uh, you can put another layer right on top of that with more colored pencils. You don't want to go too crazy, but um, two layers is, you know, that's not a problem with this. And this is some of my other work. Um, if you want to see more of my work, go to my website, MerrillK.com, or subscribe. And please consider subscribing to my channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching the video, folks.